Okay, everybody, today we have a bit of a fun one. Fun little tutorial for you guys to follow along with. We have some grind rails here. Now, these grind rails aren't doing anything in the moment, but if we hop on them, they change color in a little bit of an RGB sequence, which I thought was pretty neat. And then uh, I had somebody on X say, hey, if you could put in some sound design when uh, the RGB is going, uh, give it a go. I've actually never worked with the uh, patchwork before, so this is my first time. I'm going to cover a little bit of that as well, so that when you're grinding, the sound goes on and the RGB is on. Right now it's off, but if we hop back on, everything starts back up. So this is a bit of a fun one. Hopefully you guys uh, think this one's interesting as well. We are inside of UAFN here now, obviously. This is where we make all of our cool stuff. Okay, let's talk about how I made this, what is required. First, we have a grind rail. Grind rails are really easy. You just put them together with splines and uh, I just combined them both at the end as close as I can get them. And I just had to come around this pool. This, this whole map here is just for making cool things. So this is one of those things. Now in the middle is our sound design. I put them on some glass floors here and we have three items of the sound design. We have the patchwork drum sequence set to a drum preset of four and enabled on phase none. We also have a couple of triggers set for it because right now patchwork isn't available with verse. So we have to use triggers to tell it to enable or disable based on what we're doing or what we want to do. So in here we have the patchwork enable trigger will enable it and the patchwork disable trigger will disable it when they are triggered. So that's really easy. So this is this is the drum sequencer, which makes the drum beat. And then this one here is the drum player. So this plays the drums and then you've got the speaker over here and each of these has to be connected up together and to connect them up you just select them and then you head over to the user options port connections note out and then put the sequencer to the drum player and then the drum player will go to the speaker which you can see in the details panel that should be just fine for those guys so we've got them hooked up to a couple of triggers which live right here these guys are not uh, visible they're invisible in the game there's nothing special going on with them they're just triggered by verse essentially so that's everything inside of the scene here let's go take a look at our verse file all right, we are inside of Verse now. This is going to be relatively simple. We've got our game manager. And if you don't know what a game manager is, I've got a tutorial for that linked below. We've got our player's map, but we're not actually really using it. So I'm not going to cover that. We've got our player spawner device so that we can listen for so many spawns in. And there's a few things in here that I'm going to cover in a future tutorial, like the rocket that uh, rockets off. Yeah, some VFX that we're going to make, uh, some audio that we're going to bring in and an explosion. But what we really want to look at is this grind rail. And then we're also going to check out the disable patchwork trigger, which is the trigger device and the enable patchwork trigger, which is also a trigger device. So these three items are something that we can talk to with verse and we can only talk to the patchwork with triggers right now but I'm pretty sure they'll make those available to verse soon. Okay, so in the on begin, we wanna do a few things. Right now we're listening for the spawn and player remove, but you don't need to do this for this example. But we have these two here, which is the grind rail start grinding event. So when we hop on the grind rail, we want the RGB to start. We also want the music to start. So we wanna listen for that. So we hit the subscribe and on start grinding. Same thing for ended grinding event. We want to call on end grinding as a function. So those two are here. And and they are simple. These these two are very simple. We are going to call on start grinding when we when we get on to the grind rail. We're going to check to see if we are already activating the RGB because this is just one player right now. But if it was more than one player, this will get called. We don't want to activate the RGB if it's already RGBing. So we keep track of that with some logic right here, true or false, right? So if it's false, set it to true, trigger the trigger that enables the patchwork stuff, which is set up in the patchwork device here in the enable and disable. And then we're going to spawn make grind rail RGB. Now we spawn this because we put a little bit of a delay in between changing colors. So we have to make it a suspends function, which means we have to spawn it. Okay. And then on end grinding sets the doing RGB to false so that it'll turn it off. Now you'll want to do a little bit more management 
of this if you have more than one player. But for us, we're just going to set it up for one player for now. So we set it to false and that will turn it off. And I'll show you how that works. We also hit the disable patchwork trigger, which disables the patchwork. OK, so make grind rail RGB is a suspense. So remember, we're going to do some sleeps in here. So we've got a delay time of 0.1. This is a good idea to put in here in case you want each color to stay for longer. Right now we're staying for a tenth of a second on each color and then switching. And that's going to be done in a loop. We want to check to see if we're doing RGB or not. If we are, do the thing where we change the colors, which I'll explain in a second. And then if not, we want to just break out of the loop. So a loop will go and go and go until we call break. So if RGB is false, we just break out of it. OK, then what are we doing to change the colors of the grind rail? It's actually very, very simple. The grind rail takes values of R, G and B between 0 and 1. So you literally just work your way through 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and the other two are 0. And you just keep working your way through those uh, in succession until you finally kind of get to wherever it should be that you want it to be. And in my case, it's working through most of the colors. And then we just loop back over that. It just loops and loops and loops. The color gets set here and then the grind rail set rail color gets set to this color. And then sleep is called for the delay time of what we set it up to be, which is 0 0.01. And that's simply how you make the grind rails do RGB or any color that you want and uh, turn on the patchwork. So that's it. As always, the code is over on Patreon. So anybody who doesn't want to write all this out, it's over there. Uh, hopefully this was interesting. If you have any questions, let me know anytime and I'll see you guys in the next one.